Bourdain has been anti-Trump, anti-Hillary, anti-Weinstein. You know, he's really written things about Henry Kissinger that are true, that are very bold for somebody who's respected by liberals. And it's because he was seen as somebody, even more than Kanye West, who could double Trump's numbers with black voters. He was seen as somebody that'd be the final domino to fall because he's so respected by liberals out there. Uh, and he was showing signs of a conscience. He was realizing what was happening. He was aware of all the government sex trafficking and the things that were going on. And he was beginning to talk about working that into his show. He was working that into his show. Anthony Bordeaux was getting ready to go public and said that he was pro-human, bring the parties together, don't hate Trump, let's work together, let's have a human future, let's not be into eugenics. An Elon Musk message of truth, an Alex Jones message, because it's just the, the, uh, the truth. Kanye West. In fact, he specifically talked about the bigger plan. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here live broadcasting from my hotel room with uh, an emergency transmission update that is absolutely critical. Now, I, I want to be clear. I got up because I'm here in Hawaii at about 4 a.m., and I noticed that a Army source of mine uh, had sent me a link that Anthony Bordeaux had just died, and that they were saying it was a suicide out of the gates, and that that was suspicious when they say something's a suicide when it's first announced. They always say police are looking into it, at least for a day or so, and, and then you hear suicide. Whenever you hear it right away, it's very suspicious. And the individual I was talking to has been in uh, the highest levels of security details, protecting Hillary Clinton, George W. Bush, you name it. And he thought it was very, very suspicious. Uh, Bourdain knew a lot of secrets. He had become very, very famous first writing a, you know, a tell-all book about this, you know, the secrets of being a top chef. But I tweeted out that, hey, if I commit suicide, I didn't commit suicide, I was killed. And I said he was enemies you know, more and more with the Clintons, but I said he also said bad things about Trump, you know, that he'd serve him hemlock as a joke. But Bourdain was the only successful person on CNN. Bourdain was a superstar internationally and really respected. He was becoming really good friends with Elon Musk. Well, I got a... Uh, emergency phone call from one of the producers saying one of our best sources wants to talk to you. He's really upset. And it all clicked. I went, oh, my God. He told me off air months ago and on air just a few weeks ago that you look for other big Hollywood icon type you know, people. And he told me off air, Anthony Bourdain, saying that he had helped produce with Elon Musk. This individual works with SpaceX and other areas. This piece with Bourdain, and that Bourdain had been challenged by Elon Musk to go public uh, and to talk about his experiences and what he knew and to basically do a full Kanye, fully woke. Uh, and so I knew about this, and then it totally clicked. Uh, you know, this was about like six in the morning Hawaii time. I'd had time to wake up. So I wrote a bunch of notes here. You can see some of them are on hotel coasters. And these are the notes that the gentleman basically laid out to me. And I know who this gentleman is. Uh, his family is well-known and wealthy, uh, to say the least. And he has been involved in Army special operations, Army psychological operations. And he's even said I can say who he is now. But I'm, I, at this point, I said, I'm going to give you some time to cool off uh, before we do that. Uh, right now, this, he told me this stuff about an hour and a half ago. Right now, he's in hot water with uh, folks. But we had to do this in case they try to kill him or, or myself, because here's the bottom line. Bourdain was 61 years old. He had a happy nine-year-old daughter. He had just gotten remarried. He'd never been happier. He had been friends with Elon Musk for a long time. So he was, he was becoming best friends with Musk. Musk is fully awake to globalism, the New World Order. Uh, the whole brainwashing system, the post-human system they're trying to set up. He's been saying everything that I told you 20 years ago and I put an end game 11 years ago, not because he's following what I said, but because that's what the globalists are planning. And he's been let in at the highest levels into their meetings because he's a you know high IQ guy and a multi-billionaire. And now he's under Soros attack and others trying a hostile takeover. So 
They were in Marrakesh, Morocco, two months ago, kicking off the taping of his new season, 0.0, as the production company. He owns his own show. And Musk and him had already been hanging out there in Morocco for uh, four or five days, really you know, discussing what was happening, what was going on up on this big vista where they had this high-tech uh, science lab uh, connected to some of the leaders of Morocco. And so they're up there doing the shoot. You'll, you'll remember a few months ago when one of our guests was from Morocco, that was all going on then in Morocco then. And they were discussing all these things and he was really deprogramming him. And uh, Anthony Bordeaux was kind of coming out of his shell, the Kanye West thing that started to happen. And then more of his shows became this whole woke thing globally to what was happening in a pro-human future and pro-space exploration, not a post-industrial world, not a uh, globalist uh, depopulation planet, uh, not this thing where the AI gods take over that Musk and others have warned about, that, that Google and others are embracing and saying humans are bad, we need a post-human world. So Bourdain has been anti-Trump, anti-Hillary, anti-Weinstein. You know, he's really written things about Henry Kissinger that are true, that are very bold for somebody who's respected by liberals. And it's because he was seen as somebody even more than Kanye West, who could double Trump's numbers with black voters. He was seen as somebody that'd be the final domino to fall because he's so respected by liberals out there. Uh, and he was showing signs of a conscience. He was realizing what was happening. He was aware of all the government sex trafficking and the things that were going on. And he was beginning to talk about working that into his show. He was working that into his show. And the word has come down now. We actually have the almost 12 minute video clip uh, that is the episode in Morocco, but the 12 minute sit down in the, in the 45 minute, you know, hour long episode, but 45 minutes is actual program, actual show. Uh, our sources have the 11 minute, 50 second clip. Uh, if they ever think that they're going to now grab it and make it all a retrospective about Bourdain and mix in his old episodes and change it, they got nothing coming because Bourdain had final cut, but his company didn't. And so just like Stanley Kubrick put out Eyes Wide Shut, when he had the final cut done, he had final cut power, but he refused to cut 24 minutes. He died instantly. And I've talked to his daughter, who was his protege, and, and the stuff she told me was off record, but let me just tell you, it all fits together. I've also talked to the Lennons, and what they told me is off record, but it all fits together just for my information. Uh, but I almost, at this point, almost don't want to know stuff in confidence anymore because it's like the Gnarls Barkley uh, song. Well, I, I was crazy, not because I didn't know anything, because I knew too much. So that's all going on. So I'm seen as one of the only venues where people can actually get this stuff out, where people aren't scared. And I've been told by the Pentagon and other patriots, the highest levels, that they fear Trump, they fear Donald Trump Jr., they fear Matt Drudge, they feared Anthony uh, because he was starting to wake up to what was going on, was so influential with the left and others, and internationally was such a star. And they fear yours truly. And it's not like I'm proud to be saying this, it's a very dangerous position to be in, but they really fear almost more than anybody except Trump right now, Elon Musk, and Elon needs to go public. I've already been saying that, he's been going public against the media, he's been going public against the AI takeover plan, but Elon, this was a message to Elon Musk. In fact, this is the takeaway. Anthony Bordeaux was getting ready to go public and said that he was pro-human, bring the parties together, don't hate Trump, let's work together, let's have a human future, let's not be into eugenics. An Elon Musk message of truth, an Alex Jones message, because it's just the, the, uh, the truth. Kanye West. In fact, he specifically talked about the bigger plan. It's like when I was at Louis Farrakhan's house two years ago, he goes, you know, Kanye comes by and he's, he likes a bigger plan. And they looked at me because I hadn't been let in on the code word yet. And, and Farrakhan said what you want about him is a major game changer, key person, just like Bordeaux could be, uh, uh, or, or, or you, know, you know, any of these people. Um, so it's, it's, it's just absolutely mind boggling right now to know this is going on, to know this is happening. I'm gonna try to be calm when we come back from break. I know Dr. Nick Beggs has got a whole huge presentation ready for you. His dad died in a mysterious plane crash. His brother, of course, U.S. Senator, uh, but he's got a lot of big inside intel for you. As you can see, I was planning to 
not go on air any while I was on this trip with my kids for eight days, but we don't have a future if I don't do this, so I will be here as much as I, I, I need to be. I'm very humbled to be in this position to have this type of information, but I have talked to the folks at SpaceX. I have talked to people uh, inside the Musk organization right there at the top of it. Uh, and I am breaking down to you what is going on here. CNN will absolutely be in dreaded fear that we, I mean, I was asked today, I said, should we release the 11 minute, 50 second clip? And I said, let's hold off while you're hot right now, while you're upset. I'm not gonna say who you are yet. They already know who you are. And, and we're not gonna release the 11 minute clip yet. But the word is already, is that they're gonna grab these episodes because there's this big awakening already happening. It hit a catalyst in Morocco a few months ago. Uh, and then now it chain reaction into this, and it's all happening everywhere across the world. But, but as these prominent people begin to wake up and go with humanity and go with life and go with pro-human, there's an absolute panic by the globalists going on in there, trying to send a message by going after Bourdain. You can clearly see that, the threat and everybody else. We'll be right back on the other side of this break. This is an emergency global transmission, newswars.com. I'm Alex Jones. We will continue to go in, through, and beyond, no matter what the cost may be. We'll go on to the end to quote Winston Churchill. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this live Global Friday transmission. Anthony Bourdain was one of the number one hosts in the world, the only success CNN had. He was branching out. He was planning to do programs on child trafficking, human sex trafficking. He had become best friends with Elon Musk. He had spent close to a week in Morocco two months ago at a private home uh, with a scientific research facility. And we have the 11 minute, 50 second clip that they want cut out. We're able to bring that to you. It's been offered to us, but we're not gonna air that here at this point. But if CNN or anybody says we're lying about this, we'll drop the hammer on you. I won't drop the hammer on you. Somebody's going to drop the hammer on you. They didn't want this clip to come out. They didn't want this information to come out. He was calling for a global awakening. He was understanding that Democrats are actually pro-war. They've been funding ISIS and Al-Qaeda. He understood that the Republican establishment was just as bad as well, and that all these people claiming they were liberals weren't really liberals, and that Trump had a bigger plan, a new Renaissance plan, and Elon Musk had convinced him of this. And so Bourdain was preparing, just like Kanye West and just like Kim Kardashian, to begin to reach out to Trump, just like she came to the White House last week, on getting black people out of prison who were given racist sentences because of uh, what color they were. See, that's the perfect way for her to reach out and show that Trump's good and then have him move towards getting those laws changed, which he's now announced. The Clintons got it passed in 94, saying blacks were uh, animals and, and needed to be made to heal like dogs. Remember that? Well, well, Trump thinks that's wrong. And so all this was about to happen, and Bourdain was aware of what was happening, and the Clintons were failing. They were falling. He was starting to come out and criticizing Hillary. He was starting to come out and criticize uh, others, like Weinstein, and he was about to become not a conservative, not even a nationalist. He's a true international guy, but in the good sense, he really wants, he wanted peace and love. He'd spoken out against Kissinger. He'd spoken out against, you know, he said, I'll serve him locked to Trump back when he was buying in the bull. But he was getting ready via, via what was happening with Elon Musk to be a real leader and to go meet with Trump and to go public. That's really the big news here. And now he's died mysteriously in a hotel room, a crappy hotel room, right when he just got remarried, right when he has a nine-year-old daughter that's so happy, right when he told Elon Musk and others that he's the happiest he's ever been. This magically happens, ladies and gentlemen. The only guy, only guy successful in their entire system, and everybody liked him because he had you know, a little bit of humanity to him compared to somebody like Wolf Blitzer, somebody like Brian Stelter, somebody like Hillary Clinton. Now he's dead. Now he's dead, and they just say, boom, suicide, boom, move on. Boom, that's it. Just don't look at it, don't have a discussion, nothing to see here. That is ridiculous, and I have, from SpaceX sources, as I'm sitting there, get ready to go have breakfast with my children, because I'm six hours ahead from the East Coast, five hours ahead from Central, three hours ahead from Pacific, four hours ahead from Mountain. It's 9.03 here where I'm at, 
And I, when I come back, I'm just going to read these notes to you I wrote. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, actually seven pages of notes. One of them is a coaster. And it says, uh, culture will speak from the dead. How dare them say it's open and shut. Um, also, they said it was critical to play the clip, but I never told you guys to do this, of Bourdain and Obama in Vietnam when they first sit down and talk how much Bourdain didn't like Obama and some of the things he told Elon Musk. They knew that Bourdain knew things that he wasn't supposed to know. And uh, they didn't even tell me everything. This is super dangerous. I I'm risking my life even telling you this stuff and that we have the clip. <laughs> Go ahead and try me, CNN. We'll drop the hammer on you so fast. We'll be back. Stay with us. The strange days are going to try to destroy us. The question is, will we let that happen? Dr. Nick Begich, a scientist, researcher, major native lands leader, his brother, a former U.S. senator, his father, famous congressman who did so much for the civil rights movement and more, who died very mysteriously. He's about to take over. I wanted to just let you know that I'm on vacation with family. But I got a very desperate call from one of the producers that one of our top Pentagon SpaceX sources um, had, had had called us and that he, he, he'd already told me that he'd taped a special report in Morocco uh, with Elon Musk and that it was with Anthony Bourdain. But at 6 o'clock in the morning then when this happened, it's 9 o'clock now when I first got this news, and, it, and, it, and then it all started to click. So I called our source back, and he went over the whole thing. He was there. It was obviously, they know who it is on the inside. It was at his home with his family and you know, there in Morocco with their big facility. And of course, when it comes out who he is, everybody knows who basically you know, runs Morocco. Uh, and so you've got, you've got Elon Musk and you've got Anthony Bourdain at this big facility overlooking the vista and the ocean. And they spent days out there and Musk is already really good friends uh, with, um, or was good friends with uh, Mr. Bourdain. And of course, Musk is telling you everything I tell you. World government, AI takeover, we got to stop it. Uh, they plan to get rid of humans. Uh, the decision's been made. We got to struggle against it. Uh, the media is lying to you. They're your enemies. They want to stop human progress. And so let me just read to you the notes that I was given. And, and again, I was already told this months ago. Oh, also, Ashton Kutcher, uh, he was about to go public in all of this. Uh, I was told a month before she went to the White House that about the same source, that they, they call it, um, well, well, they have several terms for it, but um, full spectrum reality, they have a lot of terms, uh, full spectrum drama, where, where Trump and others in the Patriot leadership recruited Kanye five years ago when they decided to make this move the military was going to carry out a coup against Obama because he was signing us over to the Chinese. They did the Office of Personnel Management hack, 21 million names of all our spies, all our people, all their families, the keys of the kingdom. Apple's now moved there, giving them all the keys to all Apple users. Your uh, cloud code, that's Reuters. I mean, we're already pretty much been taken over by the Chinese. They've got Hollywood. They, they're taking over the universities. I mean, it is, it, it is mega level. But a last ditch effort was made with Trump. He reached out to Kanye. He reached out to Kim Kardashian. Um, she was on the fence. He, Kanye went with it. That's why they locked him up in a mental institution uh, about a year and a half ago when he was going to already launch this, but he, he, they had to let him go. Uh, they uh, you know, you know, did that whole act where they can say something's wrong with you and then grab you for a few days. And so and reportedly did a lot of stuff to Kanye was in there, but he, he, he powered through it. He's a great hero. He is, man. He's got everything to lose. He stood up because he has everything to gain. And so all of that unfolded. Um, and so you've got SpaceX, you've got Elon Musk that represents kind of the good faction in NASA that wants to have a pro-human future, doesn't want to suppress the life extension technologies. I told you at the inauguration before Trump spoke that he would talk about unlocking the secrets of the universe and that he would call for the secret medical technologies they've been suppressing to be released. He's done moving forward with that. I'm on record because I have the sources. But I want to be honest with you. It's metaphysical. I have sources, but we all know already. So we're already finishing each other's sentences. That's why they hate us. We, we, we are plugged in to the internet of, 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 of the human mind, the human destiny, the human will, what humanity wants. And so, yes, we scientifically look at stuff. Yes, we talk to each other. Yes, but we're already synced up, just like Bill Maher said last Friday. Alex Jones, 
and Donald Trump are soulmates. And it's true, we're all soulmates. There's billions of people that are soulmates with black skin, with white skin, with red skin, with yellow skin, with pink skin, with sunburned skin. We are all together in this big quest and this love of humanity, the love of our ancestors, the love of the great quest. And there's people that want to satanically block that and steal the future and it's not happening. So I'm gonna to go to Dr. Nick Begich after the break or here in just a minute, but let me just give you these notes. Culture will speak from the dead. They've opened and shut, said that he died. It's preposterous. Um, Bourdain was not having any of it. He was ready to stand against him. He was finally convinced uh, by Elon Musk of what was really going on and shown the proof, the proof of the child trafficking and things that he'd seen himself but didn't put two and two together is what made him have nightmares and basically break down. He came out of the depression and wouldn't talk about what he was going to do except saying he liked what Kanye had done and was planning to go public and wanted to perhaps even meet with Trump uh, publicly to say we should have unity and world peace. He liked the fact that he that Trump wants to work with Russia and the fact that he understood that Bourdain understood that, that was all made up. Bourdain didn't like the pressure he was put under by CNN uh, to come out, wrote these quick, and to basically get involved in the whole Trump bashing operation. And then even after he did what they wanted, it only got worse. It was a turning point for him, the Epstein situation and Hillary and being attacked by the Democrats and her staffers. Uh, again, uh, he just, at a gut level, had already met Trump before and didn't know everybody was demonizing him so much and he wanted world peace. Again, there's the broader message that this is a message to Elon Musk and others that have, and, and Joe Rogan that if you don't shut up, we're gonna kill you and kill your family. Uh, that, that everyone's children are in danger, and that I'm a target, and just pray for me, please, folks. Um, he had just gotten remarried, was totally happy, talking to Elon almost every day. They were planning to do big stuff together, talking about a new TV program. Oh, this is why they got pissed. Netflix is the future. Obama wants to come in, but they'll force feed it. He was talking about leaving CNN and then doing a TV show about human advancement and the human future with Elon Musk. Ooh, that's the big one. Just the jealousy at at, at, at CNN and just, just everything. They didn't want him to leave them. They wanted to, you know, he, he's gone now. They can own the dead star. They can milk all his old episodes and, and, and then edit out all the stuff he did in the last two months with dozens and dozens of segments he taped about his awakening. So that, that scared him, plus he was going to leave him at 0, 0.0. He said he was the happiest he'd been in his life. He, he felt like he'd been so unhappy when he was a mainline liberal. He was like in a prison, but now he was awake. And, and, and I mean, they spent days with him, this individual that was with Musk and all this, who works with Musk and was like witnessing this and just how happy they were. Um, God, I wrote this so quick. He kept talking about the bigger plan, how there was a bigger plan for humanity. And how he saw that the so-called leftist plan wasn't even a leftist plan, it was to control the left. Um, yeah, ZPZ 0.0, again, owning his own show, but now that he's dead, he won't have the final cut. Wanted a Trump for, uh, forum and meeting, was actually planning to get on Trump about some issues, but also thank him for other issues and say that we should all come together for global peace. And they thought it was reasonable for people to talk to Trump and for Jay-Z to go meet with him. And then he was just basically really synced up with Elon Musk. And then I was told a bunch of other stuff. And so I'm gonna to talk to my source and put out as much more of this as I can. So I had to cross through some of this because they asked me not to get into it. But, he died in a crappy hotel room in France, and instantly they said, oh, it's suicide, which is always a telltale sign there's a cover-up. We're going to go to break here in 60 seconds, and I'm going to let him take over. But just as a snapshot in 60 seconds, Dr. Nick Begich, what do you make of this? You experienced your dad being killed. What do you make of this? Well, you know, I think that it's about whistleblowing, right? I mean, this is ultimately what it becomes. And years ago, uh, I was working with members of the European Parliament to try and create an independent way of doing it. We never got anywhere. But whistleblowing, I think, is fundamental, too, to how a democracy should run. I mean, we need to know uh, certain truths. 
uh, for our republic to stay intact. And when you look around the world at the corruption, I don't care whether it's the Democrats or the Republicans, the very highest level, it's always the same players working against our interest for someone else's. I think that's what we're seeing And it's here coming too. down. I know you've got a full show prepared, but their system's unraveling. There's a huge global earth pulse awakening you predicted 20 years ago. Talk about that when you come right. back. I'm going to be listening. Dr. Nick Baggage, uh, earthpulse.com, infowars.com. Stay with us. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We can't extend this free shipping sale much longer with our best-selling items at InfoWarsStore.com. In fact, we can only run it a few more days. We're also running out of some of our best-selling items like our amazing nootropic, Rainforce. It's $19.95. Leading competitors are $60 and aren't even as good. It's a great deal normally at $39.95. Rainforce, you've never tried it. This is a great opportunity. $19.95. Also, Alpha Power is 50% off. If you don't know what it's done for me and so many others for stamina, Focus, libido, it does so many things. X2, even though we're having trouble sourcing the deep earth crystals of the good halogen iodine, I am blowing out the stockpile of it we have at least for another few days at 50% off. And then after that, it's going to go back to full price until we secure more of it. Infowarslife.com, Infowarsstore.com, or 888 And thank you all for helping fund the second American global revolution.